The rip fence is an essential part of the table saw. When you think about it, all cutting on the table saw is either cross-cutting or ripping. So the rip fence is half of what you're doing on the saw. Frequently, you'll find with some operations, you might need to clamp an auxiliary fence onto the original fence. That's not a big deal, but sometimes the piece of wood that you're using might not be as straight as you thought it was, it might not be as flat as you thought it was, and sometimes clamping it can be a little bit awkward, and the clamps can actually get in the way of your operation. I got tired of doing that, so I designed a fixture that fits over the original fence, clamps on it without any clamps being in the way, and I can add any number of different auxiliary fences to that to do different operations. So here's the base fixture that I came up with. It's really pretty simple. It's a couple pieces of Baltic birch that have been sandwiched together and they go into a dado on these two vertical pieces which are parallel and the important thing is that this space here is actually wider than the width of the fence that it's going to be going over. These two toggle clamps will hold the fence firmly in place. So this is the base for any number of add-on fences that I'm going to use. This one here I'm going to bolt on and use it as a sacrificial rabbiting fence. These bolts are being screwed into T-nuts that have been epoxied into the base fence. To use this fence for rabbiting, raise the blade up through it, exposing as much of the blade as I want to create the rabbit, both in height and width. So frequently when I'm cutting the tails on dovetails, I'll put a small rabbit on the inside, and this vertical fence, which is much taller and more stable, makes it very easy and safe to do that. So here's another fence that I use. It's a taller fence made out of melamine, and the melamine makes it easy to slide. Using this to cut tenons on narrow boards, a lot of people will just run it across here like this, and it's very dangerous because you run a very definite risk of tipping into the blade. A little trick I learned from Steve Lotta is using this jig here, which hooks on the fence so that it can't tip, and locking this on here like this. Now this is very safe and consistent cut. Another thing this high fence is useful for is to cut bevels with the board held vertically, like this. Set your blade to the bevel and the height that you need, and then I hold the board against the fence with this push stick, and I have some 80 grit sandpaper fixed to it so that I get a good grip. Going across the blade, I cut the end grain first, and then come back and do the long grain. And usually that works very well, but sometimes you get a little bit of burning and scarring. So frequently I'll use a different technique, which I'm going to show you now. So here's another fixture that I have to cut bevels. Cutting a long bevel on a large piece of wood can sometimes be a little bit awkward. This is very safe because all of my wood is on the outside of the blade. The only thing being cut off is the wood on the bevel. As long as you have this rabbit here large enough so that the offcut cannot get trapped between the blade and the fence, you'll see how well it works. I'm going to use this push stick again, and holding on here, I'm going to go across. So you can see this is actually a little bit cleaner cut that I've gotten here, better than the uh, cut that I did with this between the blade and the fence, which I did over here. The other thing is it's safer, and it's, I can, I'm not limited by the, the size of the wood, and I could also come down here to a knife point if I needed to, or almost a knife point, very safely. I have to repeat, the main thing is that this 
rabbit has to be here so that your off cut cannot be trapped because that will kick back. So I hope you can see that using this base fence attachment is worth the couple hours that it might take to build it because you have a safe, secure, and easy to use platform to bolt and screw any number of different fixtures on for years to come.